You go over to Afghanistan 13 times, Your Honor. You get your friends blown apart in front of you, and then you deal with things. You get things done. You live over 1,000 miles away. Sir, everybody in this room appreciates your service. You can say that, sir, but your actions don't support that. Well, if, if you're looking for your service career as a free pass, it's not. It's not, it's not that. Not I've been doing everything I can, Your Honor, and I, I have met the, the with the, the codes, trying to get things parts done. Officer Davis. James Davis, Certified Code Enforcement Officer for Charlotte County. On September 19th, by referral of the building official, I conducted an inspection of the address, found a foundation on site with an unpermitted structure on top of that foundation. The respondent was given 10 days to come in compliance. Uh, the denial letter specifically indicated the time frame he was supposed to work in. The 180 days has passed, and therefore we are proceeding with demolition. Construction had actually started on that, and we had a stop work order. And is it true that in March of 2016, the owners listed the property for sale in violation of the owner building permitting requirements? We found a listing that was online. He was uh, trying to sell the property, I think, as a last ditch effort to try to, to get out from underneath this. Uh, he was told that under the contractor licensing laws, he's not able to market, sell, uh, or lease a property that is under an owner builder permit. Any work which has been commenced or completed be removed from the building site? Um, I'm recently retired. I did 21 years. I was special projects. I, was, I did black ops. I was a spy. I can tell you that now. I lost four friends on my last mission. It kind of put me on my heels. I had just had kids, um, had to count body parts. It wasn't good. I went through some PTSD stuff, uh, counseling for a number of years. Initially as well, we had a home there that we had just got done remodeling. And we wanted to re, uh, just fix that house after the hurricane, but because of the county's code that if, if the damages exceeded 50% of the value of the house, you had to bring the whole house up to code. So we had to tear down our house that we had just got done remodeling and that we were going to lose 25% of our insurance claim if we did not start rebuilding in, in 2009. As well, we got notification that we were gonna lose our homestead exemption. So we were forced to go ahead and start building. The building official is authorized to require any work which has been commenced or completed be removed from the building site. The structure itself is salvageable. I mean, it is built well. It's Under the, um, the notice of violation, section 110.3 of the International Property Maintenance Code, states that if the owner of a premises fails to comply with a demolition order within the time prescribed, the code official shall cause the structure to be demolished and removed. So the county is requesting that because um, the respondent has failed to obtain a demolition permit to restore the property to its original state within the 10-day period in the notice of violation. Um, the county is recommending that respondents be found in violation of the code sections listed in the notice of violation 
and from the date of this order, 10 days to apply for and obtain a demolition permit and restore the property to its original con condition, including removal of the concrete foundation, or thereafter face a fine of $50 per day for each day a violation exists, for abatement in the event of noncompliance, and costs of abatement to be added to the fines and costs. But I don't hear any legal excuse why this has taken so long. No, I, I was just going to state, I mean, th there, was a, there was a stop work order put on it as soon as that, um, for debris in my place, and I couldn't do anything with the stop work order. They never relieved the stop work order. So we were, didn't want to tear down the house that we had there. They made us tear down that house. That house would have been done. We would have had that house if we could have just redid it. I didn't want to destroy the house I had just got done remodeling. I built, put my heart into that place, built that place. We got deployed immediately after we finished remodeling it. It got destroyed by the hurricane. Then we had to fight with the insurance company back and forth with the county because they wanted to destroy it, and we had to end up destroying that house. I find that the evidence establishes the existence of the charges set forth in the notice of violation. I'm going to uh, accept the county recommendation as my order in this case.